There this is, is Uber Ream, son. <laughs> Look at him in the dream. Look at him in the dream. Look at him in the dream. Dude. Oh my Uber god. Uber Ream was a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that's I mean, it's you need a bunch of things to be Uber Ream. Obviously yeah. you need talent. He you gotta have skill talent. talent. He, was he was really very good. skillful. Also, just tough as shit and not afraid. I mean, that guy got KO'd a bunch of times. And always uh -huh. fought, just just always fought like a warrior. You know you what? Know? The, you he know was what, a scary kickboxer. You know what the problem with that was with with Alistair though? He had become reliable on the comfort of knowing the stuff that he had done prior would make sure he's not tired. Right. He was more in shape. He, he had was, more muscle. He had more muscle, and it yeah. it messed with him towards the end of, of his course. career. It had to. It has to. He had to know what an advantage it was having it. Yeah. Look, if they if he had come along in an era of no testing. He goes down as one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Of all time. And he of still is. He, I still he, think he still is. is. Yeah, I still think he's one of the best of all time. He's a great fighter, man. Dude, he, he won everything. Yeah. When you win everywhere. K1 Grand Prix. Yes. I mean, when that you, is wild. <laughs> when you win everywhere. Everywhere. You got skill. You won in Elite XC. You won in Strike Force. You won in the UFC. You won in K1. And he, you won in he glory. hurt Stipe. He had Stipe. He had Stipe, he had Stipe for Stipe a moment bad. there. He had him bad. He just yeah. made a couple of errors and steepy. You can't make no mistake against Milicic. He's, he's a tough a survivor. Son of a yeah, he's tough. He, he's so tough. Yeah, he's very tough. I was very upset when the Jones Stipe fight got canceled. I was like, no. I know. We were looking forward to it. Have you ever had an injury like that where it's torn off the bone? No, it was a very odd injury for me to watch too because it didn't seem like it was like, like you know, grappling, wrestling. We get extended a lot, and you and I are going, and you take. And I'm you're in half guard, right? Every time I go to get up, I build to my elbow, I get to my underhook, I'll take a single leg. You will sprawl and then try to go back behind me. My arm gets extended every time. And that's kind of what happened with Jones. It's like he was in an underhook and the guy sprawled a little bit and then his arm came away from his body and it ripped. And it's it's unfortunate, but do you think that um I know John has been doing a lot of heavy lifting yep. to get up to heavyweight. That and the extra weight, right? Yeah. He's carrying all that extra weight. He's lifting all that weight. And it's like, you got to develop muscle, but it's got to be usable muscle. Mm. You can't just be big. Well, the other thing is if, if you're not doing anything, like if you're not taking anything, then your recovery from like really heavy power lifts mm -hmm. is kind of significant. Didn't he lift like 600 pounds or something? Oh my God, he's, strong, like he's strong as fuck. <laughs> He's strong as fuck. He looks very big now. Like, he looks like a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. But I just wonder, how much weightlifting do you have to do to maintain that frame? Yeah. You know? Well, he was strong. He, he was always When we strong. fought, he was strong. Like, he was yeah. strong. Leverage. Great with his leverage. Dude, the, the way he was able to manipulate positions, because I thought, without a shadow of a doubt, that I would take him down at will. But it's hard. Even if you get a takedown, it's hard against the best guys. I picked Stipe up. I threw him down. Held him down for the whole first round. And then he got up because we got to start again. So now I got to start that process all over again. And that's why Habib Nurmagomedov was so special. Because it didn't matter how many times he had to restart the process. He went right back to doing that with his opponent knowing that he was going to throw you to the ground. So when you're fighting guys like Jones, he's so tall, he's so rangy, and he just understood fighting. The guy just understands fighting. Hmm. And it makes him hard to deal with. And then, Joe, when you get in a clinch with this dude, he's so tall that it's almost like you're holding him up if you're the shorter fighter. He's like draping over the top of you. And that is what fatigues you. Because when I'm clinching, you know, I fought there a ton. Like, just in the clinch, punch, punch, punch. I'm trying to break your posture. He doesn't do that. He pushes you against the octagon, and then he leans. So now you're carrying 220 with your weight up against the octagon, and it's like, and then he's changing level, and then he's spinning trying to elbow you. He, the dude just understands fighting and understands how to maneuver his body mm. to fatigue you. It's crazy. He also is the best at managing distance. Oh, gosh. It hurts so bad trying to get close to him. <laughs> I tell you that, hey, dude, it hurts so bad. Joe, I'm saying it hurts so bad. The kicks to the body and the knees, because you know me, yeah. like Kane, me and Kane were forward, 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 head movement, yeah. get close, punch, 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 take you down. Right. But with him, he was a southpaw, so his lead leg was right there, so I wanted to grab a single leg. But this dude would be stepping back, kneeing me. 
knee in me, knee in me. And then I'll be like, okay, so I need to stop going forward. So now I'm at range and he blasts body kick and then body kick. So now you're like, shit, I'm not going to stay on the end of these body kicks because they hurt. So then you get close and he knees you. So it's like you're landing and I'm hitting him. But he's hitting me with things that may not be as big, like my hand overhand, right? Looks big. But that knee just goes boom, right in the rib every time. Boom, right in the rib. And then every now and again, they catch you right in the middle. <laughs> that shit hurts bad, man. I don't even know how the hell I was going through all that in that octagon. Because now, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Like, it hurts.